welcome to New Hope Kids Online. My name is Miss Brooke and I am so glad that you're here today. So have you guys ever heard the phrase plate it? Like if you're going to plate something, that means that you're going to put some food on like a plate, like a dinner plate so that you can serve it to somebody. That's what called, what's what plating it is called. So the name of our series this month is actually called plate it. Now, before I circle back to that, um, let's talk about cooking. Do you guys love helping in the kitchen? Like, especially if you're making cookies or maybe helping to make something else delicious. Well, if you've ever done that, you know that in cooking, you have to have a plan. And when you're cooking, that plan is called a recipe, right? Well, just like having a plan in the kitchen helps us prepare a meal that everyone's going to love, the stories from the prophets in the Old Testament part of the Bible are kind of like a cookbook that helped the people prepare for the Savior that God was going to get ready to send them one day. You see, the prophets were these people who lived many, many, many years ago. They were God's messengers. And I'm talking they lived like hundreds and hundreds of years before Jesus was even born. But God chose them specifically to give the people of that time some really important information about what God had planned. So um, in November, New Hope Kids is going to be looking all month at some of the prophets who gave us those messages from God. Now, even though there's no exact recipe, we're going to find out how we can cook up a loving relationship with God. And we're going to learn what that means. We're going to learn how to trust God. We're going to learn how we can talk to God and how we can listen to God. And we're even going to find out how we can leave the results up to God. So it's going to be a really great month. Um, I really hope you can be here with us in person. But if you can't, then make sure you tune in every week because you don't want to mess an, miss an episode. So um, for right now, sit back and enjoy this week's episode of Plate It. Hello and welcome my little chicken nuggets and welcome back to our third episode of Cooking with Cooper. Welcome to Grill TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome. Well, good news, folks. Um, over the past couple weeks, we now have over 2,000 subscribers on my new cooking channel. Isn't that exciting? So, in honor of this special occasion, I wanted to create a very special treat for you guys. Want to know what it is? Are you ready? <laughs> Drum roll. <laughs> A rando sando, <laughs> aka a random sandwich. Yes, the famous sandwich that is filled with random stuff. We will take a ton of ingredients that don't belong together, put them in one sandwich, and then we'll try it. I do have one twist though. All the ingredients will be coming from what you guys comment. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? <laughs> I'm not scared at all. <laughs> so go ahead, comment below what you think I should put in my sandwich. All right, go for it guys. Whoa, bread. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a, that's surprising. You put bread on a sandwich. Done, my dude. <laughs> Whoa, a snack cake. All right, I got one right here, so we're gonna put that right on there. Ketchup. Oh, all right, if you say so. <laughs> I guess I have to listen to you. <laughs> oh, man, that's gnarly. <laughs> Sick. And the last ingredient, let's see what it is. <laughs> a banana. <laughs> cool. <laughs> There we are. Yay. All right, it serves up. Yum. So good, it's like, wow, that is really good. Excuse me one second. <laughs> and I'm back. <laughs> Kids, I'm not sure that was the best idea. <laughs> hey Cooper, what was the best idea? No, I said I wasn't sure if it was the best idea. I just ate the world's worst sandwich because they told me to. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> oh, that looks gross. 
Why did you listen to them if you knew it would make you sick? I have to listen. <laughs> Isn't that step number three in your super duper recipe book? <laughs> well, not entirely. Can you read it again? Fine, I'll read it again if it makes you feel better. <laughs> See, uh, here, step three, here, listen. <laughs> listen to who? <sighs> Whoa, God? There it is. You see, when it comes to eating nasty foods, we don't always have to listen. But when God speaks, that's when we should stop and listen. Like Samuel. Hey, you read the story. Of course I did. Well, most of it, <laughs> some of it. Okay, fine, just the last verses. Oh, well, let's talk about the beginning then. You remember last week when Hannah prayed to God for a baby? Uh, yeah, who could forget? It was a wonderful story How about how we need to talk to God. Right, well, Hannah had her baby boy and she named him Samuel. Samuel grew up in the temple and was taught by Eli the priest. And one night Samuel woke up to his name being called. Oh, Samuel is in trouble, my dudes. Samuel ran into Eli's room and said, here I am, you called me. Eli was confused because he didn't call Samuel. Eli sent him back to bed, but this happened two more times. What in the world, who is calling Samuel? Well, that's what Eli and Samuel were both wondering. But then Eli realized what was going on. So Eli told Samuel to go back to bed and if he hears his name being called again, then he should say these words. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Wow, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. That's powerful, man. But what does that mean? Don't you see? Eli wasn't calling Samuel. No one was in the temple. So the only one who could be calling Samuel that moment had to be... God! God. <whistles> That's huge. Isn't it? From then on, Samuel listened to God and spread the message of God to everyone he knew. How cool is that? So God really does speak to us. Of course, we may not hear God's voice like you're hearing my voice right now, but God speaks through many ways. Really? Like what? Well, we can hear from God in a bunch of different ways. Let's say you're going for a walk. God can show you things just by looking around outside in nature. Or if you're reading the Bible, God can talk to you through those words. Sometimes having a conversation with somebody who loves God helps us hear from God too. The stories in the Old Testament talk about people hearing from God in dreams. And the stories in the New Testament talk about hearing from God through the Holy Spirit. Whether it's nature, other people, dreams, the Bible, God speaks to us all the time. I guess you're right. God speaks to us all the time. But... But what? But even though God speaks to us, that still leaves us with one job to do. What job is that? To listen. If we don't listen to what God is telling us, then we'll be missing out like on so much. Well, Cooper, you're absolutely right. Listening to God is one of the most important things we can do. Well, you heard it, kids. Our big idea is step three, listen to God. So on the count of three, let's say it together. Are you ready? One, two, three. Step three, listen to God. Good job, everybody. Now next week, Cooper's gonna find out the last step in the super duper recipe book. So don't miss out, we'll see you then. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV.